In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the dodge and burn tool. So to start us off, you'll find the dodge and burn, burn tool located on your toolbar on the left. Now, if it is that you can't find, if your toolbar isn't here, um, just make sure that you go to window and make sure the toolbar, the tools there, um, have a tick next to it. Um, it's sometimes an issue if you accidentally push the tab key on your keyboard um, it can sometimes hide that so if it is that you can't find the toolbar just go to window and it will be there so the dodge and burn tool is literally a leveling tool in a brush so whereas before we just leveled the image um, it levels the whole image you might just want to level a section of it so make a section of the image darker or lighter and that's why we have the dodge and burn tool so the way to remember it is that the dodge tool which is um, a lollipop looks like a lollipop that makes the image lighter and the burn tool makes it darker so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the burn tool so click on this make sure that you're working on your photograph so don't whatever you do don't um, try and edit any of these adjustment layers because as you can see there's nothing actually there to work on make sure that you've got your photograph highlighted which often is called background and then if you go to the top here you have got your brush sizes so if you scroll up you can see the brush is quite big it sort of jumps from like 500 to like a thousand so I tend to work it off about 400 maybe 500 so move that across you can type it in if you want now at the minute you can see um, we've got shadows midtones and highlights now you'd never want to make your highlights darker you just end up with a gray mess so in this case all I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight the shadows so whereas we talked about the histogram before um, that is recorded on your levels tool what it will do is it'll only adjust those pixels that are in the the nearer the darker tone so that one third on the left hand side that's all it will edit so we click on that the exposure is basically the strength of the brush so I always think less is more in this case so if you keep it to 10% that's great now if you can't see the edge of your brush um, it's probably because your caps lock is on so if you can't see the edge of the brush just make sure your caps lock is off and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to brush this area up here now can you see it's making those shadows darker so it's making the texture of the tarmac pop a little bit yeah now it might be worth you going round the box so if it is like you've got like you want to sort of make the box appear in this instance make the box want to pop a little bit out of the out of the image just make sure you go around the edge of it if I click on it can you see at the minute it's not doing anything to that box it's because that is considered a highlight and the way you've set it is you've only set it to adjust the shadows okay now that's the burn tool so I'm just going to show you the dodge tool now so it's the same setup you can change the size in this instance you'll probably want to just adjust your highlights again change your exposure so we, that's the intensity of the brush and if you go through can you see it's highlighting those textures now you need to be careful with the dodge and burn tool you don't want to go too crazy if it is that you can see the outline of the brush um, you've got the exposure too high so you the dodge and burn tool will only be used in certain and in, in certain circumstances um, and if you ever make a mistake just remember you can go command option Z and that will take you back a step and that's the dodge and burn tool